Hi, everybody. Long time no see. It is January 8th, 2021. I'm still here, as you probably know, if you're following our WhatsApp groups. I work really late at night trying to get the numbers to you. And uh, today I want to talk to you about vaccinations. I got vaccinated. I'm a healthcare provider. Um, several family members of mine who are either elderly or healthcare providers or have significant pre existing conditions have also gotten vaccinated. And I'm encouraging people to do so for a few reasons. Number one is that vaccinations have been shown to be safe. Very few people are having serious side effects. The most I had was I had a little bit of a sore arm. A couple people I know had uh, laryngitis or, you know, like a hoarse voice for a day with no other symptoms. Um, and people are tolerating it very well. Israel has now vaccinated 1.5 million people, which is larger than the average stage three testing that's done in vaccines. What we have seen is that people have responded well. There have been very few serious side effects. Um, people with allergies have, for the most part, not had allergic reactions to this vaccine. The importance of this vaccine goes beyond just how I'm gonna feel today or tomorrow, but it actually goes towards a goal of eradicating this disease. This disease spreads by infecting people, making people sick, and then spreading through droplets. The impact is enormous. I don't think there's anybody in the world who hasn't been impacted by this. Now, the vaccine has not been proven to prevent people from getting coronavirus. What it does do is make the disease a mild illness, which does not cause hospitalizations and does not cause deaths. Now, that's pretty much like saying we're turning this coronavirus that has killed many, many people in the world and has infected tens of millions of people in the world and has crippled the world for a year and turning it into a cold. Is a cold contagious? Yes, it is contagious. Can it cause you to be sick for a few days? Yes, it can. Is it going to kill you? No. And if we could take this enormous problem that we all have together and turn it into a mild illness, that is a worthy goal, especially if it does not cause harm. And the first rule of medicine is do no harm. So I'm going to have my second vaccine next week, um, as will all the people who had the vaccine the first week here. Um, we hope this will be much more widespread around the world uh, shortly. Um, Israel is being very aggressive with the vaccination program, which we're very excited about. We do anticipate that we're going to have uh, gap year students being able to be vaccinated. And the national goal is that within two months, anybody who wants to be vaccinated from age 16 and higher is going to have the opportunity to be vaccinated. The reason why the distribution has been so good in Israel is because the centralized health system is very organized. Israel has an excellent and definitely, in my opinion, and I, and I work for the State Department, I'm, I'm familiar with uh, health systems around the world, definitely the best emergency planning experts in the world are in Israel. And a lot of that is in the health system itself. Israel is uh, very well prepared for mass distribution of vaccines. And that's the reason why we were able to vaccinate over 15% of our population in two weeks, which is pretty good considering that we did not get that many vaccines to begin with. At this rate, we're going to be able to vaccinate the majority of our population. I hope this trend continues worldwide and that we can all go back to being normal. Do we even remember what normal is? I'm trying. But I know it's out there. I want people to come and visit Israel. I want to go visit my family in America. I want to be able to take vacation and be a normal tourist. I'm sure many of you would like to come to Israel and visit, and we'd love to have you. 
We have to do it safely. Corona is still going to be out there. There isn't a cure for Corona right now. But what is going to help is to get vaccinated. And I fully support the vaccination program. Everybody, please take care of yourselves and stay safe.